Yeah, good morning to uh, Bang Bang Rail. Oh, uh, uh, Chelmsford of Prison, yeah, about what, 70, 76, 77, I think it was. Um, yeah, yeah, there was a guy on the, on the freeze, yeah, um, by the name of Ken English. Um, I've been trying to look, I've been trying to check him out. He's, he was a bad Jersey rapist, really, really bad. I think he'd done about 20, 24, 25 years, a uh, grey geezer, but you could see this guy was a thick set geezer at one time. He had great big, of forearms and massive wrists, yeah. You know I mean, and he was a really, really bad, really bad uh, rapist, paedophile. And I remember um, Terry Millman, Terry Millman, the one, one of the ones who got done for the Dome uh, Diamond. Terry Millman died of cancer. Um, Terry Millman was a nice guy, mate. Um, fantastic painter. Uh, one of the best painters in, in any prison I've ever been in. Uh, him and the Moyes. Uh, the Moyes have got a, a studio flat, stu they do studio, no studio flats, they do studios in Lambert Grove, uh, painting studios, uh, the Moyes brothers, they learn painting in prison, but uh, as I say, Terry Millman, fantastic painter. Uh, he was um, mates with a guy called Lou Swallow, uh, Lou Swallow, another good painter, they, uh, uh, listen, they've done paintings you would never, you'd never believe, like thousands of faces on, on a picture, and it's, it's unbelievable what, what they do, yeah, but anyway, I remember Terry Millman, yeah, uh, used to give this Ken English, he's on the same landing, yeah, he used to give this Ken English a bit of stick, uh, well, not a bit, a lot of stick, you know what I mean, throw water in there in the morning, run up the door, go in with a bucket of water to him, you know, but Ken English, um, he, he's one of the old boys, he, he just t took it as it is. Um, it was, you could see that he was petrified sometimes coming out of his cell, but he's done 25 years, you know what I mean, he's he's gone through all the, all, all these bad times, really, and he's like, but, do, is there any end of bad times for these sort of people that do these sort of things, yeah? And Lou Swallow, um, Lou Swallow used to really give it him. I mean, if ever he, he was walking down the stairs, mate, he'd get kicked down the stairs. This guy, he, he, he had to be a bit careful, mate, because I remember Frankie Fraser, old Frank, um, when he, I think Frank, this is part of the reasons when Frank got chucked out, you know. Um, I mean, I, I remember, like smash when he went downstairs with a football match and all come back and smashed all the uh, corrugated sheets in the toilet on the ones, yeah? And they'd had enough, yeah? Because he was smashing everything. It was just going mad, Frank, yeah? But I remember uh, uh, Frankie Fraser. Um, I'm telling you, not even, not even, not even um, behind the door or whatever it was, yeah? Uh, Ken English had come down with his food. Ken English has always come first or last, yeah? He come down with his food, and Frankie Fraser just sat there on the, on, on the centre. Uh, there's pictures, he got the centre, then he got the hot plates, yeah? Uh, he was just, they just put things on these like, steps, yeah? And Frankie Fraser just sitting there, and not doing, not saying nothing. Uh, uh, this is one of the reasons he definitely, definitely got choked out, mate. Um, he just sat there, and you could see that he was waiting, waiting for someone. He was talking to a guy called Ray Rosa. Ray Rosa, uh, glasses, uh, I think Ray Rosa was doing about four or five years, he was on the other side, he was in B-Wing. Um, Ray Rosa and his brother, they were supposed to be a right handful, but there's people that more, more like know the Rosa brothers, yeah? But they was a, they was a bit of an handful, that, like, in the years, years gone by, they was, uh, they was really, really bad people, you know what I mean, mate? They was oh, proper, proper gangsters. Anyway, I can see Frank, uh, I'm on the hot plate, yeah? I could see Frank sitting there, and he's waiting for something. He's, you know, just sitting there with nothing on his plate or nothing. And um, all of a sudden, Ken English comes down. He's gone past all the hot plates. He's turning around. Frank Fraser uh, went up behind him and hit me over, over the head with a with a with a, um, with a, a plate with a uh, what's the name plate? Wag crash! Not not a plastic plate. A really hard plate Bang, across the head. Ken English hit the floor, and Frank Fraser stemmed into him. And then they banged Frank up, you know, and they sort of took uh, Ken English to the hospital. Um, but two days later, two days later after that, after he smashed all his corrugated sheets up and and, and they done Ken English, he was gone. That I mean, that's part of part of it. I mean, he, he, I think he wanted to go in a way. I think he had enough of Chelmsford prison. I think he, he he had it. It was it was too, it was too what um, easy for it. Easy, he was just do, could do what he wanted, and he just wanted to do it a little bit more, yeah. Um, as I said, him and Tony Lawrence, uh, they was a log of heads 24-7. I mean, Tony Lawrence, I mean, as far as I know, and, and I know Frank, because Frank's cut the cells for me, 
of Tony Knotts would have killed Freak, you know what I mean? Like Shadow Doubt, Tony Knotts would have just ripped his head off. He was a big, big man, Tony. Powerful as they come, but that, that's beside the point. And anyway, Kenny English um, didn't get shipped out. He stayed there. But um, we were talking the other day, some, some guys that was in Chelsea prison with me, and they were talking about the time that these two Steves, uh, they used to make matchboxes. I think I've said it before. They used to make matchbox uh, out, of, out of matches. Uh, everything out of matches they used to do, coffee pots, tea pots, anything to make in matches, yeah? And one of them, uh, I, don't know, I think was doing uh, eight years or nine years. He was on our wing. Uh, the other one, Steve, was doing 12, 15, something like that. He tried to escape and, and, and he got, he, anyway, he was at the end of his sentence. And what them two done together, they used to go to a class uh, doing all these uh, things like, uh, what, uh, what's it called, jewelry boxes and all that out of matchsticks. And they made loads and loads and loads and loads and loads. And this first Steve, the one who was doing the nine, he was going out. He was going, he was, he, he was, he was going out, he'd finished, he'd finished his, his sentence, not going out, it's, I think he was going to the hostel or something like that. So them two arranged, they had absolutely, they was taking it every, every week, every week, there was things going out, every week, every week, every week, there was things going out on visits, yeah, uh, to, to, to whatever. And, um, yeah, and, and then when he, when, when he went, he said to the other Steve, look, my mum's got a shop. I'm going to put all these things in the shop. And the money I earn out of this, well, the money I earn out of this, I'll give you, I'll give you uh, X amount. I'll send it into you. He went, yeah, lovely, lovely. But when he left, um, he, he done what he done. He didn't send no money. He, his mum sold loads of things. He didn't send no money into him. So therefore, Steve is really pissed off of it. You know what I mean? He's done all this work. Um, the guy's promised him that's what prison, that's what prison for is it about. People promise you this and never, and never give you nothing. Yeah, but I promised him, promised him he got he got nothing out of it. And then that kid uh, who who done all the matchboxes and everything went outside to his mum's. He got a recall, and what happens? He comes back. He comes back to Chelmsford Prison. When he comes back, he knows that he's in trouble because now Steve. He's gonna fucking, they're gonna, they're gonna have a terrible row with him too. And he knows that the other Steve's gonna kill him. You're not killing literally, but kill him, you know what I mean? And so when Steve come in, he went into Ronnie Bender's cell uh, without Ronnie Bender being there. And he knew Ronnie Bender had a big, he had a big uh, iron bar, a dumbbell bar, you know? And he knew he, he had that and that. And he knew Steve always comes into Ronnie Bender's cell before they come in for an exercise or work and makes the tea for him. So now Steve's waiting for the other Steve to come in. And he's behind the door. And Steve, who's been on home leave, and not a bit hostile and this, that and the other, not hostile, been out, sorry, I'm getting confused there, been out and you know, supposed to get my, all, these, all these bits and pieces, sell and send the money in. He, he, he's shitting himself because he hadn't done it. All of a sudden, Steve's waiting for Steve, the other Steve, who's done the 12 and took kidnap and took hostage at Chelsea Prison, uh, to uh, Albany Prison. Right. Come through the door, as you come through the door, Steve's gone whack, trying to do him with the iron bar, but he put his hand up and uh, the iron bar's fell on the floor. So the other Steve's now fighting him. Uh, he picks up the iron bar. Uh, Steve was waiting to get, waiting for his, waiting to uh, kill his geezer because you know, he didn't bringing his bits and pieces of money in and he didn't send his money in, he's now picked the iron bar up. He's now whacking this other Steve with his iron bar, smashing it to pieces, mate. Um, they reckon, I never see it, I was there, I never see it. Um, we see all the bells go off and the running around and this, that and the other. Um, when, when all screaming and shouting, and when Ronnie Bender, when Ronnie Bender come in the cell, uh, you know, I mean, come on, Ronnie Bender has just been, he's doing bird for uh, Jack the Act, isn't it? The, the vicar, the, the Vita, when they stabbed him, killed him, still killed him, knifed him up, you know, he's one of the ones who got all, all the bird. And they reckon when he walked into the cell, Ronnie Bender, Ronnie Bender actually was sick. He spewed up because the guy, the other Steve, his head was turned inside out, uh, where the guy smashed his head so it was just to pulp. 
don't forget, this guy, this other, the, the guy, the guy that done it, right, that, that actually done waxing across the head, he was doing something like a five or a six, took hostage, from, uh, at Albany or one of them prisons, got a twelve. Right, so now he's he, on top of 12 on top of his foot on all his crime. So now he's at the end of his sentence getting out. And what's he do? So, like a self defense, but it only self defense. Killed the guy with the iron bar, smashed him to pieces, took his head inside out, went a bit too far of it, and then goes to Winchester Crown Court or one of them big courts around that area. Or somewhere. I think they went to Winchester because he's right out of the way where, where, where there was, where, where, you know, the, the prisons that he, anyway. He, that's what it was, Winchester Crown Court he went to, and got a, a life sentence recommended like 30 years or something like that. You know? And the reason I'm talking about it now is because I was talking to my mates about it, and they reckon that Steve, right, is in a decat. In a decat. Like, you know, I've been, I've been, what, I've done 20, 20, what, 21 years now from the IPP. Uh, I come out in 70. 78, 79 in, in jails of prison, so he's been in there all that time. He must be, he's got to be the same age as me, you know what I mean? A bit, maybe a bit older. And he's in a decat. That, he's in a decat, mate, after, oh, it doesn't matter. You think, oh, what? All the top, all the burglars done, so he got a five. On top of the five, he got a 12. On top of the 12, he gets a life recommend. He's done just 30 years for what he's done. They got eight million iron bars, smashes it to pieces. And now, he's, in, he's on the decat, waiting to come out. What sort of state is he going to be in, mate? You know? And this geezer, Steve, is a nice, nice, nice geezer, mate. So nice. He's just running around for Ronnie Bendo. He used to make his teas, you know, sandwiches, look after everybody when they come into this card school. And that's what happens. It's, it's it's just madness, man. Anyway, this is Bang Bang Rail. Uh, please uh, just press the like button and subscribe. Take care. Bye.